1972, the first time I was arrested, I was 15 years old. So in a way, I'm not sure what, what is it that led to this. I spent four months in jail. At that time, you know, it's, the norm was physical torture. I mean, you, you get physically tortured until you faint and then they will splash water in your face and start again. And when they feel you are ready, they send you to the interrogator. And that's repeated and repeated. And that's basically what I think at that time what everybody felt. Later, it was more of this, like subjecting you to this continued pain. Like in 1977, I was left standing with my hand tied to a pipe where I cannot sit on the ground and with a sack on my face. That was way before Abu Ghraib, you know, for five continued days and nights. And I don't think you can imagine how it feels until you, you go through it. Um, so that was like, you know, it, 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 it leaves no marks on your body, but it's so painful. And that Israel calls moderate physical pressure. To me, it didn't look as moderate. The most fear I had while standing like that, my legs like started to be like this because all the blood sort of rested there. So you get them swollen and, and my major fear was, am I going to lose my legs? That was terrifying, you know, it was really, I wish somebody slapped me on the face rather than doing that to me. But, you know, you start waiting for the interrogator to ask for you. Like that would be your relief, you know, even if you expect to be humiliated and beaten and shouted at. The evidence of torture is, is usually not physical. All of these men suffered the following progression. They would be, first of all, they were taken, when they were taken in, everything was seized from them. Uh, they were uh, usually put in a cell first, a uh, cell that was very small, very cramped. They could just barely lie down and stand up, and that was all. And there are some of these cells that are, uh, they call the coffin, where you have to lie down. And any time they're taken out of the cell, a bag is put over their head, which they say had been uh, dipped in feces or urine and it was just almost impossible to breathe inside of it. And uh, they would be subjected to loud music for hours and hours and hours, so loud that it just it was deafening. And uh, they would be tied to a small chair, like a kindergarten chair, so that you're all hunched up. And the front two legs are shorter than the back two, so you're tilted forward. And over a long period of time, this is very hard, your hands are behind you, and one is inside the chair and one is outside the chair with tight cuffs. One of the men said that he was sure, he said, I screamed and screamed because I was sure that my hands were going to be, uh, I would lose them because I'd lost all feeling in my hands. And then they're questioned. During this intifada, more or less any given time, certainly in the last year, over 330 children in prison. Yeah. And also not, not in the prisons that you would expect at home, not in the nice kind of child-friendly centers which you know, fulfill every international standard on yeah. juvenile justice and everything. But the, the, the treatment and, yeah. the, and the maltreatment that, that the kids go through is, is unbelievable. The interrogation center is very difficult. They used uh, the uh, torture, the physical torture and the uh, uh, psychological, uh, yeah, psychological more for the children. 
no family, no family visits, no lawyer visits until he confessed. And then they will say they send the children to the and, uh, detention center. The detention center uh, it is in uh, the Israeli camp or in settlements. And there the situation is very difficult. They put every 10 children in a small room, uh, three, uh, three meters to three meters square, uh, in the same bed sometimes, two or three children together. And they have to spend all the time in this room. Only they can leave the room for uh, once a week for the 15 minutes at the end or a half hour to see the sun. There don't need to be any charges. There, need, there doesn't need to be any particular reason, it seems, that children, children can just be arrested because someone's heard their name. We, we know of one case in which a child was arrested because he happened to be wearing a T-shirt similar to someone who was seen at a clash. And, uh, you know, this was... This was